Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm here with another new indie game. This one is called Cat Lady, the card game. And um, it does change your mouse cursor into a little mouse. So I'm sold already. <laughs> um, this isn't a completely blind first look. I did come in and play around. I did the first two tutorials and I thought I would save the last tutorial to share with you folks. This is, um, I'm very impressed with it so far actually. I like it a lot. I'll show you the settings, there's not a whole lot here. Uh, you can make it windowed or full screen and change the resolution. You can adjust the sound separately and change the language to German, Italian, French, port. there's quite a lot of languages in here. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Um, that's it, I think that's probably all we need. Uh, this is a mouse only game as far as I can tell. Let us uh, go into learn to play. I've done these first two. So I have some idea of what I'm doing here. And let's let's check out the last one, Sprays and Strays. So this is a game all about adopting cats, feeding them and making them happy. <laughs> and uh, the visual style is perfect for this, the music is nice. Uh, welcome dear to this lesson on Sprays and Strays. One thing I don't like, uh, you have to actually click on the arrow, which wouldn't be a problem except it moves around. So it's just, it's a slight annoyance. It's not a big annoyance, it's just a slight annoyance. Take some cards and then watch what happens. Okay, so at the start you have to take a row or a column of cards. Um, so I have to explain to you now because I've already done the tutorial. At the bottom of each one of these cards is their favorite food and you have to feed them that many of that food and then you get the points that are on the left side here. That's the most basic thing. There's also toys you can get to make them happy and costumes, which it says make them happy, even though it openly acknowledges that cats don't like wearing costumes. Uh, and also you can get catnip, which can also make them happy. So now we're on the last stage here. So take some cards. Um, we'll go here. We'll get a couple of cats and some chicken to feed Belle here. Look at that. When a row or column of cards has been collected, the cat token is placed there. Okay. Oh, so can I not take that column again? Cat token protects the row or column from being collected by the next player. Both a friend and a foe. Interesting. So I am playing against the computer here. A trainee. Oh, oh look, a spray bottle. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like this already. Let's see what these are for. Collect it now. Um, well, I can't collect this way, so I have to go this way, I guess. Um, I want to show you around the screen, but I, the tutorial's taking over. Cats do not like being sprayed with water. Yeah, no kidding. That's exactly what the spray bottle is for, the poor things. No, boo hiss! Don't spray your cats in water. It doesn't work. It just makes them upset. It doesn't teach them anything. That's not how cats work. It's not how cats learn. Look, dear, an important card has been added to the grid. The lost cat poster. Let's get it and another spray bottle. Uh, you can't take the lost cat poster and the spray bottle because they are being guarded by that pesky cat token. I don't really understand this, actually. This is a new mechanic. And I don't understand why, uh... What how this helps, I guess. Anyway. You can chase away the cat token by using your spray bottle on it. I see. Don't worry, dear. He'll be just fine. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. You're gonna traumatize this poor cat. So, spray button now, and it's like a roar column. Okay. Pretty, pretty obvious. Thought it was obvious. Not doing anything. Oh, a column to chase it too. I see. I guess chase it down here. Now grab the lost cat poster and the spray bottle cards. All right, I don't like that. I don't think we need spray bottles in this game. You now have a lost cat poster card in your collection. Lost cat posters can be used in two ways, to gain wonderful stray cat cards or to earn points. Stray cat cards are drawn randomly from a deck of 13 at the start of each game. Aren't they majestic? Yes, they're beautiful. Stray cats can give you big boosts to your score when they're fed and each one is unique. Lovely. Doesn't cow look interesting? <laughs> I can tell you, dear, that her name is definitely fitting. Tap cow and we'll take a look. Okay. Cow is a white stray cat. She has special rules which are shown on her car. You may feed cow any number of food, and she's worth two points for each. Ooh. Interesting. When cow is in your cattery, you can feed her any number of food she's- I- I just read that! <laughs> we already know. To collect one of the three stray cat cards, you need to have two lost cat poster cards in your inventory. Let's grab another one now. Okay. Um... Guess we'll take this one. I can't see what I have here. I can't strategize the rest of the game. <laughs> you now have enough lost cat posters to adopt a stray cat. Let's adopt one of these friendly strays. Okay, well let's see what the other two are. Feed Waffle up to four food of one type. He is worth three points for each food you feed him. Feed Truffle one of each of these, or one of these. She's worth two points for each other cat you feed that eats that food. Oh goodness. 
Seems like how will be best if you have a lot of extra food. So if you have the most leftover food at the end of the game, you lose points for that. You don't want to waste food. So I also need to be feeding my cats here. Um, we can feed Sir Cuddleface. We can feed Chairman Yao. We've got enough chicken here. Um, we do not have enough to feed you or you. We need to get some more food. I was not given much of a choice about what I, uh, what I was going to do here. So... I don't really seem to have any leftover food. I suppose I can try to get leftover food. What are the other ones? I think I'm gonna go with Truffle, actually. Let's go with Truffle. Adopt Truffle. Okay. Alright, am I free now? Can I show you people around? <laughs> so here's my opponent, a trainee. Uh, this is their cats. Uh, and that's all they have. They don't have any toys or costumes or anything, and neither do I yet. Okay. Um, so, I gotta, I gotta strategize now. Goodness, I got all, I got all flustered a little bit. So we've got one tuna. We don't have anyone who needs tuna yet. We need, we need some turkey legs. We need some tuna. We need some milk. We need a costume. Not a lot of food on the table here. Um, I guess... We'll go here. We need to have at least one costume, and then we get six points if we have the most costumes. Okay, now we've got all kinds of toys available. I'll just take this row here, I think. What I got for food? Not a lot. Still not a lot of food. Oh, here's that catnip. Now, if you only have one catnip, you lose two points. If you have two to three, you get one point per fed cat. And if you get four or more, you get two points per fed cat. So if you take one, you're taking a risk. Because you got to get another one before the end of the game. Um... If you get a set of toys, you get points depending on how many toys you got. It's it's surprisingly in-depth, this game. Right now, really, what I need is, is some food. Like, especially this chicken here. Let's get this row here. Let's go for the catnip. I'm gonna go for the catnip. Okay. These are the number of uh, cards that are left, by the way. When this runs out to zero, then the game is over. Chicken. There's more chicken. Yeah, I need lots of chicken. I think I'm gonna give Truffle a chicken. And then we can, we can give Zeus two chickens. Now, here's my score. I got a 19 versus the two up there. This is good. We're, we're doing well. We're doing well. Okay. Um, I, I could use one more chicken. We can give milk and a tuna to you. We need one more tuna for socks. Socks needs more. Um, let's go for this row here. Start saving up for another another stray. Doesn't hurt. You can feed Belle. You can take the food away after if you want to, but then they get sad again. We don't want to see that. I need another, another tuna for socks. How's my opponent doing? Got a lot more cats. Oh, it won't let me really look. Interesting, okay. The interface is a bit odd. I am using uh, the mouse wheel to try to scroll, but it doesn't work very well. You can also click and drag. As you see, it's kind of wobbly and weird. It, it is kind of difficult to, to kind of move the thing around here. Now it's not letting me move it at all. Well, that's great. Can I, uh, if I do it like this, can I just sort of <laughs> scroll myself back up? So weird. Okay, yeah, the controls are a bit awkward. Let it be known, the controls are a bit awkward, though. All right, um, I've got two catnip already, so that doesn't have to be a priority. I don't have any leftover food of any kind. Hmm. Well, let's let's go for this. This one right here. These poor cats. I don't. I'm sorry that I have to put costumes on you, kitties. Game's almost over, and you know everything to get started in a cat lady journey. Try honing your skills against me or my cat lady friends in a classic game, then show them off in the leaderboards and ranked play. Well, thank you. All right. Um, why is this one smaller? That's weird. Okay, I think it was just a bug. <laughs> it's fine. I have three cat. If I get one more catnip, that's going to be a pretty big bonus. I do still need another tuna. Or, well, there's no food here at all. All right, let's give, let's go for this. I could use that wild food. Wild food would be good. Because then you can use that as anything. This is the last round. We got zero cards left. If I take that wild food, I'm going to have to take Cooper, though. And Cooper's going to be sad, because I'm not going to have anything to feed Cooper. I do want something for socks, though, because I get six points if socks gets fed. All right. End of the, end of the round here. Let's feed socks my wild food. It's another six points. I've got 51 versus 14. I think I'm okay. Now the scroll wheel works fine. Interesting. These are, look at these poor sad cats. 
I don't want to put costumes on the cats. I disagree. I disagree with the costumes and I disagree with the water bottles. The rest of this game is delightful. Finished. I'm pretty sure I won, folks. I'm pretty sure I'm the winner. There's all kinds of math here. I'm not going to worry about it. I just know that I'm in first place. <laughs> so that's it. I now know all the mechanics of this game. By the way, at the end, you get little achievements. You get your achievement room in here. Look at you. You get your little cute little, cute little things. This is my, my diploma. Uh, not diploma. What are those called? The graduation cap things. And it shows you your progress. So like, mystery meat feed cats wild food 35 times. This one right here. Collect all three strays in a single challenge mode game. Like, that's pretty nice. This is a nice way to do an achievement room. I like it. All right, my friends, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's jump in. Let's go for a classic mode. Let's jump into classic mode. Let's do a game. Yeah, let's go. Just the two. Apparently, we can have more than two players. That looks cool. Um, too complicated for me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's what we're doing. I need a cat. Lost, lost cat. Florence. Did we have Florence before? I can't open it. There we go. Horse is worth two points for each orange cat you feed. Okay. There's 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 a surprising amount of depth and potential strategy to this game, and I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. Grab a couple of milks for Sir Cuddleface right away here, and a catnip. I'm going for it. Okay. Feed Sir Cuddleface. We got our first points here. You, by the way, you also have uh, minus two points for each unhappy cat. That's why we have negative scores right now. We're going to have to do something about that, aren't we? Uh, we need tuna and milk for socks. We don't have tuna or milk. Well, we, got, we can get tuna here. I already have a present box. Or I can go here, and then I'm risking because I, I don't have any chicken. Let's go for it. Went for it. Okay, and apparently there is, uh, because of holiday times, this was released, I think, just like a week or two before Christmas. So they have a little holiday theme for some of this, which is nice. Did I get... Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I need I need a better way. I need like a, a, like a scroll bar or something like that for this. It doesn't work very well. Uh, let's grab that. How many lost... Oh, here we go. I do have two, two lost cat posters. I'm not doing great with food for my kitties. All right, I can take you. I don't have any other orange cats. Cow can take my leftover food. And truffle. Right, this is the one that I used last time. I don't have any extra food though. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, what is best to do here. This is my worst game already. I was doing much better when I was playing against the trainee. <laughs> um, let's do this. And we've got four lost cat posters. And I can, I can adopt two cats if I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and adopt cow, because it doesn't seem like there's any downside to adopting cow. Okay. And maybe truffle. Maybe I can get that achievement for getting all the, all the cats in one round. We need some food. All right, I got a little bit of food here. A little bit of food here. Um... Two tuna. It's still not enough, because Socks still needs that milk. I haven't seen any milk. I'm just gonna grab all the food that I can, I think, for now. Let me get two chickens for blackberry. Still no milk. Still no milk! You know what? I am gonna take this row, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna adopt Florence. There's an achievement right there. Achievement unlocked. Got them all. Gotta adopt them all, and I did. Couple tunas. How are we doing with, with feeding over here? We're not doing great. One to you. You can have a chicken. Um, let's see. I'll give you. I would kind of like to give you a. Ch okay, we'll give you. We'll give you one of these. Tuna. Okay. Florence needs a chicken and a milk. I think. Wait, if she's worth... Yeah, okay. Chicken and a milk. Cow can take whatever. Just whatevs. Um, actually, this this row right here. Here we go. I just used it. I did it. I did the thing. Oh my goodness. I need... Come on. Come on, let me... <laughs> oh no. 
I'm telling you folks, the interface is- ah! No, no. Interface is a little broken. Uh, creators of this game, please fix the interface. I cannot see the cats up above, and that's a problem. I need to be able to see him. Whoops. Ah, what happened? No! Open it back up! <laughs> my goodness. Panic. Alright, let's give Sock some milk. Can I? There we go. Florence needs two things that I don't have. I do have this wild food. I'm gonna save that for the end, then. We'll see if we can- we can pick up this stuff the normal way. Uh, one more catnip would be good. So now I've got four catnip. That's gonna give me a lot of extra points. Oh, that's it! Game's over. Alright, feed your cats. Feed your cats. Um... Florence, you're gonna get that and the wild food. I'm gonna give ugh, all the rest of the food to Cow. Yeah, that was good. I done good. That's all our food. Am I the winner? I think I'm a winner. I won! First place! I did it! Take that, Rosemary. I'm the better cat lady. I think we all knew that was true, didn't we? <laughs> See? Okay. Yet we're 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 building up. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. So many so many uh progress. So many progress. Yeah, I said it. Wow. Did I get the adopt all all the cats? I did. Oh, a challenge mode game. Was that not a challenge? No, that was a classic mode game. Shucks. Here I thought I was doing great. All right. One last thing to check out, my friends, and then we'll call this video finished. We gotta see what challenge mode is all about. It looks like it's basically the same. Um... I can't do this. I like the, the idea of starting off with three entire cans of tuna. I'm sorry, Zeus, I don't have any chicken yet, but I'm gonna work on that for you. Uh, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. I can feed Bronte right away. Get a couple of chickens here. Feed Zeus, and we can feed Shadow. All the- oh, look at this, all my cats are happy. This is what I'm talking about. Now I can get, uh, two lost cat reward things. Who we got here? We've got... Elliot. Two points for each black cat. Waffle. Okay. And Zoroaster. Nice. Worth points for costumes. Do I have any costumes yet? I don't. I need to get a costume or two. Uh, I'm gonna take Zoroaster. Let's... Okay, here's a costume right here. I don't need the milk, though. But I don't need the milk, though. I might need the milk eventually. Let's just take it. And we can feed Zoroaster. Ugh, there we go. Um, more, more costumes. I do need... I do need chicken for poor Blackberry. Blackberry is hungry. But there's no chicken available right now. I do like the idea of taking this row right here. Getting that catnip. That catnip were some good were some good points. Let's take that one. Okay. Got another lost lost cat poster as well. Okay. Can we do this? We don't need tuna either. We only need chicken right now. I'm gonna have to maybe find a cat who who needs tuna. I wanna get this achievement. <laughs> I'm getting this achievement. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna adopt uh, both of these cats right here. Right now. There we go, I did it! Did it! Got achievement, achievement unlocked. Uh, not doing- still not doing great on the food. Can give... Up to four food. Okay. Socks, so we've got one tuna and one milk. We need chicken! We super need chicken though. Hmm. There's a wild food here. If I go across this road, but then poor Pumpkin is also gonna be hungry. We got a shortage of chicken. Oh man, look at this. This cat lady's got all kinds of points. What the heck, man? Oh, we gotta do something about this. Three points for each food. It's quite a bit. Elliot's two points for each black cat that is fed. That's actually quite a bit. That'll be six... Eight points, including Elliot, but I need chicken for that. I need three chicken to make that happen. All right, I'm gonna hold off for now. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna regret taking this one. I do need that tuna and that wild food. It would be very useful as well. But it 
does mean that I've got Pumpkin here who, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh no, I don't have- I don't have a spray bottle. I can't take this row. Okay, hold up, hold up. Should we feed... We'll feed Socks. We got Socks is happy now. I'm sorry, Blackberry. I'm working on it. I am working on it. Uh, all I've got is this one wild food. I'll hold on to it. Let's take this row. We got one chicken at least. Oh man, I think that's gonna be it. I'm not- I, I, there's not gonna be any more chicken for me. I think this is my last chance. So we'll give Elliot the chicken and the wild food probably. Can I take- I can take these two milk. Man, whatever I do here, I'm gonna get another cat, which is unhappy. This is a close one, my friends. This is a close one. Yeah, yeah, I'll do this. Okay, feed my cat, so I've got two milk is all I've got to feed cats, and I guess I gotta give him the waffle. Bring a few extra points. I think I lost! Oh no! Oh no, I did- I- oh. Aw, oh, beans. Aw, <laughs> oh, beans are lost. Aw, oh, dang. Aw, oh, shucks. Alright, well, I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I, did get that, I did get that achievement, though. That was my, my primary goal. Come on, oh, give me that. Give me that. Aw, oh, there it is. There it is. Put the lost cat poster up on my wall. <laughs> Lovely. All right, folks, uh, this is Cat Lady the Card Game. Is that is that the name of this? I think that's the name of this. We'll go to the title screen and we'll make sure. Wow, I just got a lot of progress. Look at all this progress. Check out all my progress. Amazing. Come on, come on. Okay, we'll go back to the menu. <laughs> yes, Cat Lady the Card Game. Uh, folks, this is fun. <laughs> this is a fun game. It is surprisingly in depth. There's some good randomness in there, but there's also some strategy and some skill. The imagery is cute. Um, it's fun. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, thumbs up for me. That's Cat Lady the Car Game. Um, but you know, if there's anyone out you, any, any of you, come on, Ira. Come on, Ira, focus. If there's any of you folks out there who are not cat ladies or cat lads or cat folk, uh, or maybe, maybe this just isn't your cup of tea, please do not worry. Don't panic. I will be back very soon with another indie game, and you never know, my friends. That one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video about Cat Lady the Card Game. Uh, I myself, pretty, pretty famous for being a bit of a cat lady. Uh, I did try to take my cat, Meep, uh, here for the little outro so that he could say goodbye with me. I thought that'd be very cute. Um, he wasn't in the mood to be picked up. And he was telegraphing that, and he was making it very clear. And long story short, I did get my face bit. Uh, this is this is his work right here. You can see that. Um, uh, the moral of the story is, when your cat doesn't want to be picked up, you gotta respect it. Otherwise you get your face bit. This is my fault.